Oh boy. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Harvester. I'm your host, Euclidean Mind, and I'm joined by Sir Boo. Uh... Alright. We're back on our mission to no good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're pulling um, high school pranks in a town that's most likely going to kill us. Most likely. But we have our trusty abasable bat! Hold on. That stone of this grave site reads Jonathan A. Rhinecliff. What? What? Well, we're gonna leave you to your business. Okay, wasn't expecting this. It's the middle of the night, and mistakes were made. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Examine matches. Matches prepared especially for your wedding. Who the hell is that? Do, 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 do. We're just gonna sneak on by him with our baseball bat. Oh, I don't know about you. But I'm feeling 22. Let's talk to Mr. Potsdam. What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? I'm burying our cat. She passed away and I'm burying her. Go away and mind your own business. Then, where's the cat? I, I left her at home. Now leave me alone! Oh, someone has a case of the mental instability. This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. This. I'm sure it can. Man, this town gets creepier at night. Paper building? Nothing. Hmm. Police station. Let's save before we do this. Operate sheet. Oh! Does this guy ever go home? Talk to Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here? All the time? I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? Have you gotten your large aggregation in yet? Good. You may survive yet. Really? Alright, we gotta erase that from our memory because we were never there. Stupid dog. Diner's locked up. Oh, we had something to open the door. Why is it locked up? It's a Maybe 20... Need... What? Maybe you need a foot key. A foot key? You know, a good old foot key. I kick it in? <laughs> yes. Uh. 
Definitely save game. We hate Hank. Go figure, he's still here. Furniture dolly. Well, that didn't work. What's that pipe thing you got in oh, there? Oh, man. It's a uh, manhole key. Oh, man. Speaking of which. Well, that didn't work. Now we also have a matchbook. Matchbook? Maybe we can make fire during the day. She's still in the kitchen. We're going to save real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Where's Hank's room? Box of crayons and a Range Rider coloring book. We head back to the lodge, or we can go visit Stephanie. Hold on. I think we may have something long enough to. Well, that didn't work. Nope. I don't know what we're going to use the dolly on either. locked. Go figure. Uh, I'm curious enough. Nope.
Well, that didn't work. Oh, no. Well, that didn't work. There now. See how easy it is? Okay. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. Yes, I see. So he's got a pitchfork. Matches on the coat rack? Okay. Damn it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Hold on. Didn't work. Damn it. Okay. Well, that didn't Damn work. It. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. We're gonna try some. We're gonna we're gonna walk around Damn for. Damn it! What's so hard about remembering to take out the? Oh, well, we figured out how to get them away from the fire station, all right. And we got a ladder. Oh, 
Oh, we can't enter? Is there not a bolt of fabric in here? What's going on? So confused. <laughs> the fire engine's gone. Okay. Were we not supposed to? Seeing you here again, one would think Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils scratched his priceless tucker. I must say, I was relieved when I learned he had no evidence pointing to one of my kids. If he had, some lucky boy or girl would have been in for some quality time. Edna's little girl, Karen, is missing. As an educator, I take a personal interest in the well-being of Harvest Youth. Today's drain on society is tomorrow's material resource. A tragedy? Yes. But natural in a sense. Read your Darwin. Only the fittest survive. And how tough is a little girl? Dark. Drop in again soon. How about now? I can't stop and chat, Steve. With Karen gone, if I stop, I think I'll lose my mind. I've got to keep busy. Busy. Excuse me. I just heard that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. You know, though I don't like to think ill of people or take pleasure in the misfortunes of others, I'd like to think it's a comeuppance for all the times that nasty man has bothered me. Let's ask about care. Thank you for asking. But since she disappeared, it's too painful for me to talk about her. Other than the diner, she was all I had. I've gone to the sheriff, and Range Rider is running announcements hourly at the TV station. I've even thought of petitioning the Order of the Harvest Moon. God help me. I'm that desperate. But so far, I've heard nothing. I've posted a reward to whoever finds her. Maybe that'll help. I just wish I knew. Well, we got more... topics. Sheriff... And TV station. And disappearance. Okay. The lodge is the repository. What? The we. The. You. Edna? Steve. You seem. I'm sorry. Though I see them together a lot, Boyle and the Sheriff never act very friendly towards each other. Almost like there's some kind of bond between them besides friendship. Yeah. Maybe Sheriff Duane resents the fact that he's never been able to get into the lodge. 
Well, that's not Boyle's fault. He just hands out the applications. He doesn't decide who gets admitted. Sheriff Duane is such a dear man. You know, it's funny. Duane never comes in here with Deputy Loomis, but he frequently dines with Mr. McKnight. You know, the owner of the TV station. Sometimes he comes in. Mr. McKnight owns the TV station, WHAR. He seems to get along with Sheriff Duane better than Boyle does. Better than just about anyone to tell the truth. I don't see the connection between them, but I'll bet you dollars to donuts that it's there anyhow. Okay, now disappearance. I was closing up the diner for the night, and I let Karen play outside the diner for only a few minutes. In a little town like Harvest, you trust your neighbors. Sure, it was dark out. I was closing up late. But the poor thing sat in all day helping in the kitchen. I, I didn't think anything would happen. I know, between the posters and the television bulletins, but even so, there's no word that she's all alone. I posted a reward for whoever finds her. Perhaps that will help. I just, I just, I can't talk about it anymore. Have you checked Mr. Johnson's house? <clears throat> That's the first thing I'd think of. That's what I would think of. What's pissing me off is like I can't get inside the fire station. It's like what in the world? Okay, so let's make sure. Just want to check here since one of the first places. Boy, the way you keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? I got a report here that someone put a ding on Johnson's tucker. <laughs> as honorary as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. I suppose you've heard the news about Edna's daughter Karen disappearing. I wouldn't think about it too much if I were you. This is a serious crime. And this is no time for civilians to be nosing around playing cops and robbers. Steve, I'd give this advice to my own son if I had one. Leave this be. This is not the kind of thing you should look into. Sow some wild oats, boy. Kick up your heels. Join the lodge. Join the lodge, Steve. And leave Karen to the professionals. Did you hear that McKnight was killed? Isn't that something? And you know what? Whoever did it didn't even think to look in his wall safe. <laughs> Just goes to show you. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. <laughs> it's weird. Pop on by any time, Steve. We did look in his wall safe. Loomis I'm don't sorry. Anything? I don't feel up right now. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what in a time. Okay. I would either think Johnson's the meat packing plant. I got a sneaking suspicion. Remember who we saw in the graveyard last night digging holes? Yeah, okay. that was Mr. Potsdam. Did you say hello to your father for me? It's very important. Tell him. Tell him that I hope he gets better soon and and don't forget to remind him about his 
promise regarding the meat. I could use some good news right now. I just got the word. The order turned down my latest application. Looks like we'll be having the wedding at morning hands after all. So, what's new, Steve? How could anyone do something so terrible to her? You think someone took her? I think? Oh no, see, it was a kidnapping, haven't you heard? The sheriff got a ransom note. Seems someone wants to dip into Edna's larder. Too bad such a sweet little thing has to suffer. Go dig up the grave. Hmm. I'm sure I couldn't tell you, Steve. Why so interesting? Word to the wise, Steve. You leave that kind of stuff to the sheriff. This isn't something you want to be messing with. Why not? There are better ways for you to spend your time. Have you applied to the lodge yet? There's no time like the present, believe me. You should apply, and soon. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Maybe Stephanie knows something? Go dig up the grave. I will, I will. We hate Hank. Steve. I'm I visited the lodge. Talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. That place. It's so sinister. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. That's another weird thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 produced. What are the odds of that? I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. Any idea who scratched the car? Why would you do something like that? It's part of the Lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the Lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. I've heard of worse fraternity initiations. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. I understand that a little girl is missing. That's right. Her name's Karen. I heard the pod parents talking about it downstairs. When did it happen? Tuesday night. God, that was a bad night for everyone. Tuesday, our upstairs toilet backed up. As if that wasn't bad enough, Mr. Potsdam was livid, almost irrational. Like the toilet had it in for him personally. Through the wall, I kept hearing him ask somebody named Mr. Swell whether the toilet would be fixed by dark. And when Swell said it'd take most of the night to fix, Daddy totally lost it. Swell said he'd stay all night and fix it, but that didn't seem to help. Potsdam stormed out of the house and didn't come back till next morning. You're not making... Come back and... 
So it looks like Mr. Swell is someone we have to talk to, maybe. Mm. Wait, maybe there's something in the bathroom that can give us a hint? Maybe something was left behind? If not, we just broke the toilet. Thanks about taking some of that siding off my hand. Too bad about Edna's daughter going missing. That was a strange night. I remember that evening. The Potsdam's upstairs bathroom toilet backed up. I've seen folks upset about that stuff. But Mr. Potsdam was just furious. Heck, they even got a downstairs bathroom. But when I told him it'd take most of the night to fix, he stormed out of the house. But some folks are hard to figure. Stop running around. Stop there. running around. Okay. Stop running around. Nice to see. I can't talk now, son. The thing is, the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating a work of art like that. Well, that's a sheer sign that civilization is coming to an end. I heard Edna's daughter up and disappeared to tonight. Yes, sir. Aliens got her for sure. All sorts of funny things went on that night. I seen three different UFOs over my fields. What's weird is, they didn't carve anything. There was lights in the cemetery, and Swell was busy that night, too. Tell him about it, Pete. Aw, uh, he don't want to hear about Tuesday. So, there was Anytime. lights in the cemetery. Mr. Potsdam was out in the cemetery. He knows speak English. to the cemetery. Okay. Not that grave. No, the picnic table's on top of it. Move the picnic table. Saving! You better not find a dead little girl or a pile of shit. Better be a million dollars. What? Thank God I found you. Are you alright, Karen? I want to go home. Could you take me to my mommy's store? Or to the policeman? Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. He won't do anything, I promise. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please, I just want to go home now. Please. Can you tell me your address, honey? I don't know. Just take me to the store or the policeman. Please. I'll tell you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
back to Edna's diner? Yep. Bye bye. Oh my god. Karen! Thank god. What happened? Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Thank you, Steve. Thank you from both of us. Here. Here's the reward money. Take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. We did a good thing here. We saved a baby! And we got money. The most important of treasures in the world. I mean, saving a life. Now you can buy that wrench from the, um, from the general store. We sure can. Let's go shopping. Let's get some shoes. Do we want a wrench or do we want tape? Hello. Care to buy? Just point to what... Steve, you live close to Mr. Johnson. How is he taking it? Such wanton vandalism. It just breaks my heart. I'll have to send him a nice fruit basket. Though if he wants some new paint and sealant, it'll cost him. Okay, so we have to hand her money. Got both. Works for me. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, I know I can't use tape with anything. No, no, don't. Why? Why, Steve? I wonder if you should go talk... Talk to him? Mr. Possum. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? No. Forget the pot roast, mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! It's the truth. That's why. And I think you'd better be going, young man, before I call your mother and tell on you.
He's a child rapist? Wow. Yeah. Go figure, huh? I don't think we ever got a bolt of cloth either. How are we supposed to do it if we're not even able to go into the freaking place? Why, you're spouting none. Happy trail. His body's still there. Still there. So, you have complete now that you've scratched. Very well. They're still not there. How is one man to complete a task if you can't even get there? Some rotten sub bitch scratched my car. My Tucker, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks. If I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beef up the patrols, but what does he care of me? Nobody cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll make them care. I'll make them care. Good work rescuing Karen. Of course, you queered my play with Edna. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? Correct. No doubt. Ten to one. Bye now. You just let me walk into his garage. Cool. Huge couch in the door. Nothing we can do here. I don't think anything's changed with Wasp Lady. It's not often that I get visitors. A trivia. Why are you even in this game? So that's going to do it for this episode of Harvester. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time. I've been your host, Euclidean Mind, and I was joined by... Boo! Ah, uh, indeed. All right. Bye-bye!